think the setup. It's like it's open. You can see we're way closer now to the camera. It's almost like they're watching a new show. I like it. We need to be more informative. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Jam Up number eight, right? Number eight. Yeah, and uh, it's been a long fucking time. So, hey. A lot has changed. <laughs> yeah. Well, the set has changed. Well, oh yeah, I guess I should bring that up right off the rip. Uh we're back because I've been working on my house. If you haven't been paying attention, I'm putting posting about it a little bit. I don't know if you saw anything. I saw some things. But uh, looks good so far. Yeah, thanks. It's me and Jay have been doing this shit. Probably on the the times where you guys aren't doing it to other houses, right? Yeah, we're having a, a little bit of a permit issue with the other one right now too. Mm-hmm. So that gave us a bunch of spare time to red tape. Fucking do all this shit. Yeah, but. Where that's all getting sorted out anyway. That's actually where Jared's been the last few days, talking to people. And I fucking hate talking to people, which is weird considering I do podcasts. Right. Well, at least you get to talk to people on <clears throat> podcasts that you actually enjoy talking to. Yeah, at least I control that talking. You know, right. To a certain extent, anyway. The uh, I, I don't like talking to... Uh, first off, I don't like meeting new people. No, it's it's very a very anxiety filled thing yeah, for me, especially when their their job is to <clears throat> is to bust your balls on things. It's not my favorite thing to do. Oh so yeah, I don't blame you. I I'm guess the same way. In your line of work, that's probably an everyday thing. You meet new people. New people know you that you've never met before. So Shit. you got to act like. Uh, you know, most of the time, I do. Like if somebody talks, brings up fighting and stuff, I'm like all about it, but. Then when you see the same people over and over again, you hear, oh, when's your next fight? How's fighting? You still fight? It it gets to be a little bit much. No, I can understand. Especially with social media now. Just get on social media. Yeah, I hear the same you questions over and over again. Right, right. Asking questions that you've already provided the answers to on social media. And yeah. Like no, I get it. I get it. I guess that's a good segue. What's going on with you lately, sir? It's been a while since the, anybody that listens has heard. Right. You're still, uh, the, still the champ. Still the champ. Have a fight coming up, Minnesota. 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 Uh, you have to say that. It's cold up there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they sound like they're from Fargo. For sure. That's exact. I'm pretty sure that was an exact line. Yeah. Fargo or something close. Um, yeah. So that's April 27th. I'll be defending my belt against a pretty tough guy. I mean, at this point, everybody's a tough guy. You're not fighting any bums anymore, you know. No. But uh, yeah. Main event, again, pretty pumped about it. Hell yeah. Uh, This is my first fight at my new gym. Hmm. That is, uh, you know, it's been a really easy transition. Nice. What's the new gym? Uh, Strong Style. Strong Style. No, I've been Uh, seeing you promote that lately. The biggest, I mean, in my my opinion, it's the best gym in the Midwest. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, I made the move up there, and I have amazing coaches and amazing training partners and it's just been going great like, oh yeah no you've been saying nothing but good things about it yeah. about it so. it's honestly it's the hardest i've ever been training as well no i believe it i so. mean it's called strong style right yeah but every time you post about it i think it should skin nakamura he's the king of it right yeah which is it anything like does he seem strong style whatsoever because i don't know much about it I, yeah i don't know that what the like, what does that mean? Uh, yeah. What is right? strong style? Um, don't know. No, just I would just imagine. Yeah, to me, like, it's just a, a a group of bad motherfuckers that. So it's it's really just a a title. Yeah, I think I that's honestly I, I think it is. It might be a certain uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm gonna have to look it up. Because I I hear the word strong style and I feel like you probably focus on your strength, over, you know what I mean? Like their style is to just be stronger than that person. Right. Uh. Well, that's kind of mentally. Stronger is their biggest thing. Uh, okay. I mean, um, Endurance. I, I've done things there, and it's just like it's like peeling an onion, man. It's just started. Damn. Like they're fucking, they're putting me through. I mean, it's like I have a lot of attention up there. It's great. That's cool. And it helps that 
heavyweight world champion is up there too. The UFC heavyweight world champions there. Hell yeah! Is my, is, is a I training partner. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. But who's the champ right now? I I know. I watched it. It's Stipe. Yeah. 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 See, I don't know. I I watch. Th- right. I understand. Yeah. I, but uh, yeah. I mean, he just won the. For, just defending the title for the third time most anybody's ever done it so yeah actually, he's actually the greatest watch that of all fight. time he really is and he's he's helping me he, he's it's been a great great experience that's awesome so, i didn't know that that's yeah. way cool so yeah Hell that's yeah. Been going on i've been doing that and just working hard every day i, I don't doubt that a bit so yeah, you so. didn't get where you are not working hard right fuck you've been working hard since high school <laughs> Sometimes, most of the time. Other times. Oh, eh. oh yeah. There's been those moments. <laughs> there have been some moments. <laughs> Shit. So how about you? What have you been up to? Nothing really. Like like you said, you can see it. Really, what I've been up to. I took a trip recently to Branson, Missouri, which, and and the reason I went there is because my dad had some health issues. Uh, I actually thought he was gonna die for a minute because his kidneys were failing, but. Eesh. I guess the way that hospital works is they like assume the worst at the beginning, and then turns out it's not as bad as they thought. So it's a different approach. I kind of like it. Kinda. I mean, at first we were first. we were all freaked the fuck out. That's why we all went out. You're there. Right. But uh, once we got there, I was just like, well, no, you know, they're improving. It's not as bad as we thought. And I was just like, well, that's kind of a fucked up way to go about it. But <laughs> whatever. I mean, See, I, got I kinda, us out there. I, it's not. It wasn't me, so I couldn't really. I can't tell you exactly how I feel about it, but uh, you know, I kind of like that. Uh, prepare for the worst because you never know what's going to happen. But you know, when it comes to a loved one, a family member, especially your father, yeah, you kind of want to hear some some the positive stuff too. You know? No, you I definitely hear. get that. I used to kind of have that mentality back in like the day, like my high school days, like people, like. Here's the example I used to always give is like, if you just be negative most of the time, like if you're negative about something most of the time, it doesn't seem that bad in the end. So like, for instance, like I always dreaded mowing the lawn, but by the time I got to it and did it, it turned out it wasn't that bad. Yeah. It was like, it took (laughs) half the time I thought it was going to be. And like, it was actually kind of enjoyable because it wasn't that, you know what I mean? Just like it turned out to be not sure. so shitty. So I guess that's kind of a way to look at it. But at the same time, like it's not always going to turn out that way. I think about like the dishes, doing the dishes like that. Oh, yeah. They always turn out to be shitty. <laughs> really? Always. Like, I, I, fuck, I, hate dishes. I don't know. I guess it depends on how I go. Because I like, I'll rinse my dishes as soon as I'm done, but I won't wash them. Just mm. so when I do wash them, really all I got to do is give it a quick, good scrub right. and I'm done. So like in a way... Because I do that, doing my dishes is kind of a way for me to just like clear my head and not even just think about what I'm doing. Not I think even a lot think. of people do that with uh, mowing the grass too. Oh yeah, especially you see people with like headphones on and, and a beer just, in their hand and oh, shit. Yeah. Like it's like whatever. I get away from the wife for a few minutes. <laughs> That's what my dad used to do. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. But shit, that would have been clever. I should have offered to mow the lawn more often because they because like my mom and Roger had a riding lawnmower. I could have just. Just like smoke doobies while I was down there. Right. I, like, I didn't like, even yeah. think about it. Wow. Where, where were you? Where was this fucking idea years ago? And I could have used. I didn't it. have any good ideas back in the day. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, we went out to Branson because because uh, of my dad, and I actually met a bunch of family that I had never met before, and I liked like a, all of them, pretty much. I mean, I didn't meet them all. I met like my dad's girlfriend Peggy and shit, and she was really fucking cool, and. uh just going out there and meeting family I never met and kind of the whole dad situation and the scare and everything, it kind of made me think about a lot of things, like life a little bit, maybe realize my age and like how I just almost lost my dad and shit or could have possibly lost, like it just made me think about some things. So like when I came back, I kind of tried to set goals, I guess, in motion, like made, like I cut back smoking the ganja a little bit so I'm right. a little more clear headed and like I try to get out a little bit more I kind of try to come out of my shell a little bit it's baby steps but it's I don't know I I, guess. I love goals and I'm very goal, goal oriented so like if I don't set a goal then I'm going to sit on the fucking couch and sit do nothing yeah play so, video games or something right which is you know everybody needs that but when you set goals I get mad at myself if I don't achieve them 
So like if it's if it's anything, you know, uh this week I'm gonna eat healthy. Every every single meal is gonna be healthy and then I fuck up and I go get Burger King. I'm uh-huh. pissed off about it. Really? Oh yeah. It's I mean, it's just that's just one example. So I mean I'm I'm happy to hear that you're, you're the you're setting goals now, you know. No, I think everybody makes, should. No, just even for if sure. it's little, little, little goals. Like there's, there's got to be at least one goal, even if it's like a minuscule goal, or else what's like, what are you doing? What's the point of life? Like you're just, you're, <laughs> you're just, just working to, to eat, right? Or something. Who wants it? I, I, I've always thought this. You cannot just live to go to work every day. You oh, work no. so you can live. Yeah. For sure, yeah. and unfortunately, it's the other way around. In like, America, it is it really is. a lot with a lot of people. We're we're slaves to the system because without being those slaves, we can't work or live the system. You live on the side of the road. Yeah, I mean, there's no, yep. or you live in poverty your whole life, and I mean, that's <laughs> that's Which no picnic either. Nobody wants that. As simple as that life may be, it seems sometimes like I've been like, "Fuck it, dude! It's it's almost easier just to live in a goddamn box or like you know what I mean," but. It's still miserable. Right. <clears throat> miserable. And not only that, but nobody wants to hang out with that guy. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> like, I'd still hang out with you if you were living in a box. Well, I kind of am at this point. It's a big box. <laughs> yeah. This is a big box, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah. So. No. That's good, man. You turned the negative into a positive out there, really. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to work out, because we need to get my dad's ass back here in Ohio. Cause it, it like it just start, why why does all this stuff gotta happen out there? Have come back here, right? You know, retire, be a grandpa and shit. Like, I need to get it, my dad. Get out here if you're watching this shit. It's about friggin' time, man. I believe in you. Jeff believes in you. He's your biggest fan. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> but the the thing about Branson is it was it's a completely different place than I thought it was gonna be. What do you think about when you think Branson? Like what Missouri? Do you think, yeah. He stacks and I don't know. I've never been there. That's yeah. kind of what I thought too. Like barns, other, lots of fields. Yeah, I mean it's it's like middle America, like right smack dab yeah. in the middle, and you would think it's a very rural place, but like Branson is right at the bottom edge of Missouri. I couldn't tell you what's under Missouri. Is it Oklahoma? I think about it. Maybe shit. Probably. I don't know. All I know is mm. it's like right above the border of the bottom of the state, and. I, I knew a little bit about it because my dad did a show there, and I know it's kind of a tourist town, but I I thought it was going to be like a kind of, no offense to people in Branson, but like I thought it was going to be kind of like a, a southern hillbilly type touristy place. Like, I don't know. But dude, it's fucking so cool. Like that place, it's like you, it's like a live-in theme park. Really? Like, not even joking. There's a fucking roller coaster in that town that you can just go to and ride. <laughs> That's like, it's sweet. not even in a theme park or not. Like, no, this it's place is just like a theme park city. There's museums all over the places. There's huh. attractions, all kinds of shops. There's a fucking gas station there that is Ricky Bobby's Pit Stop. It's just all Talladega Nights themed. Wow. He's got his suit in there and everything. There's a toy museum that I really wanted to fucking go to. All kinds of places to I eat. I would never think that. Dude, Honestly, it's I've never insane. even heard of Branson, to be completely honest with you. There was this like promenade place down there called uh, Branson Landing, and there was this... This thing wasn't that cool. It would have been a lot cooler if it was taller, but it's literally just this big light ball that has like this thing you sit in, and it just lifts you like a couple hundred feet in the air. The thing that confuses me about it, though, is... You're not that high. So literally, you're not even seeing all of Branson. You're just seeing, like, the buildings around you. But, like, this place we went to, this promenade, which is basically, like, just a big outdoor mall, we had at this place called Famous Dave's, and it was a barbecue place. They had all kinds of different barbecued meats and shit. It's my but favorite food. out the window right next to us was whatever that, the Missouri River, maybe? I don't know. The, whatever, there's I a big bet, river yeah. going through it. And there's people just zip lining from, like, the, the cliff tops across the river over to, like, behind the restaurant where we were at shit. The place was just fucking cool. Like, really cool. Like, I want to go back there and actually do some things. Right, not go out there for for what you went out there for, but just go out there and, like, a little vacation. Yeah, like, we stayed in a really nice hotel and shit. Where It was like a resort. That was a hotel that you were at? Like, all those videos? You probably. I thought, videos. I just thought I figured like, it was your where I was house. Pretending to stir the coffee yeah. with Rachel and shit. Yeah, that was all inside our hotel suite. That was a badass hotel. It was nice, dude. <laughs> and if you, uh, 
if you went out on the patio, you looked down and there was just like rock waterfalls and all kinds of pools and shit. Like it was, it was like the fanciest place I've ever stayed in my life, and it was fairly cheap because it was during the the non-tourist season. Which I'm guessing the tourist season is in the summer, right? Yeah, like right. spring to fall, pretty much. Right. Maybe even into like the holiday season and shit. So it's kind of like the opposite of Florida, uh, you know, because Florida. It's 95 degrees, 100 degrees every day in the summer. Yeah. So what do you do? You go down there in the winter when it's 75, and everything's yep. three times more expensive. Yep. Like, all the, none of the shows are going on and stuff, because there's a shit ton of different, like, shows and other things. But, uh... Dude, I'd definitely go check that out. That'd be fun. Prince is a cool <laughs> place. If you ever go there, definitely give a few things a shot. Like, I want to ride that roller coaster, because it, like... You can get ride the roller coaster? Yeah. Like I said, you could just drive there... Go inside. I think you just pay money and then you ride the roller coaster. I didn't actually see the roller coaster because the roller coaster, like the way you enter Branson, or at least the way we did, is like you know Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. You know that point where you just have to ride down that giant cliffside just to get to the other town or whatever. We were literally driving on a road just like that, and you could just see Branson everywhere, like off from the cliffside as you're driving. Was there guardrails? Probably. I can't remember. It was nighttime. I just saw the lights and shit. (laughs) But, like, I forget what my point was in telling you that. Oh, so, like, there was another cliffside going down from the city at some point where the roller coaster was. So the roller coaster was, like, built on the cliffside itself, I guess. Or, the, like, the hillside or whatever. So I didn't really get to see the roller coaster. I just saw the giant. They just, I think it was just called the coaster or something like that. And like, it was literally, It's like you go to laser tag and do laser tag. You go here and you ride the roller coaster. Right. But people Crazy. that live out there is like, fuck that. I ain't getting on that stupid thing anymore. Giant, like... <laughs> Like Mario Kart's, like not Mario Kart looking or anything, but like just the way the track is for go karts. It was like a Mario Kart style track, like a bunch of loops coming down and shit. Oh. And like That'd it be was fun yeah, for sure. This place looks super fun if I you think got every, the money. Every town should have a fucking roller coaster. Why not? Yeah. They can't cost that much money. No, I mean what a million bucks? Maybe not even a couple hundred thousand. Yeah. I was, I was 500,000. What, Let's Cedar just... Point's got like 15, 20 of them? Yeah, I think they even meant more than that now. I don't doubt it. God damn, where do they keep getting the land? Uh, hmm. there's, Before you know it, there's just going to be one built into Lake Sandusky Erie. Sandusky kind of sucks besides that, so it's just nothing but water parks and Cedar Point, so just buy up shitty houses, I guess. That actually, somebody, some guy started a GoFundMe account to buy Geauga Lake and bring it back. I don't have know. You seen, have you seen pictures of it? Of Jogga Lake, ter- I've saw the sad. the like drone footage of Flano. <laughs> yeah. It is really sad, dude. Because when I, I lived out in Ravenna, we uh, we got a season passes to the uh, well, we used to be I think the water park that used to be Sea World. Yeah, and you they had a couple slides that you could climb up, and you could see all of Jogga Lake across the you know from the top of the slide. And yeah, it, dude, it seriously looks like Scooby Doo Town. No, it's it's like it's shit's scary. Over and yeah, like there's people are twenty feet tall that have like trespassed and snuck in and like took pictures and like I said, the drone footage where he's yeah. just flying above. It is like depressing. We need to get a drone. Me? We? Oui. Yeah. Anyone I think needs. <laughs> well, not everyone. So there's some creeps out there that could do some right. stuff with drones, but no, dude, I could definitely get some fucking use out of a drone, especially with a camera. My. uh one of my training partners, he did that. Did you ever see that video that he did for me? It was me, uh, like a almost like a Rocky montage. I did actually. Yeah, he I think did I that. It. He has a drone. He we didn't use the drone on that one because we didn't go outside. But yeah, he has like a uh, 4K drone, like 4K hmm. capability. I'm pretty that's sure. Awesome. I bet that set him back a pretty penny. Uh, yeah. Drone, I don't know. Drones are pretty common now. You could probably get a decent drone for pretty cheap. Uh, the one guy I was talking to, he had a real like fancy one. He said he got it for fourteen hundred. But it, I'm saying this thing was like, Legit. it could sit in your bed, and it would take you couldn't sit in your bed. You know? What I mean? Oh, it was, it was fucking huge. giant. It yeah. was a goddamn helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ride it, but he wouldn't let me. As I to say, you could probably attach a seat to that <laughs> motherfucker, like a swing. Maybe hook a cat up to it or something. Yeah. That's Ooh, nuts. That's popular today, huh? That's my mom. Yeah. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. You're on the show. Sorry, my bad. Just, no, cool. she's, just she knows it. I'm doing this. I told her. I'm talking to you. <laughs> mom. Ma'am. But no, Ma'am. a drone would be awesome. Imagine all the fucking things I could, we could do with the drone just with video, let alone maybe some of the crazy criminal fucking things we could do 
<laughs> a drone ten years ago, we'd have gotten a lot of trouble. We can be like, or we could like go the whole other route and be like drone vigilantes, like Batman, like fucking, you know, busting open crimes and shit and like cases. I nah. always wanted to be a superhero. We could put a mask on the drone so they'll get scared. <laughs> That's the way we. Have seen a video it. of that? It's like the the guy that dresses up like Batman. He tries to find his voice. Uh, no. Oh man, I'll send that. you the link. Yeah, it's definitely funny. do that. Makes up a, uh, it's just like a parody. It's pretty good though. Reminds me of that parody they did of uh, Dark Knight Rises with Bane and Talia, and it's the same guy. Oh, is it? Same guy. Okay, yep. cool, cool. Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> love that then. Because I love that, <laughs> that other one. one. Was, yeah, I think this one's... But we had sex. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, one shit. might be a little bit funnier, though. The suit seals the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. If you haven't seen that, people, check it out. Yeah. Put it on uh, the Matt Archer. Can oh, yeah. I will. Actually, yeah, I know. When I post it, I'll just put like in the comments like little yeah. things we talked about and shit. I should do that with everything. Fuck. But yeah, that was pretty much my trip to Britson. I met family, a lot really cool people. I liked them a lot. Um, yeah, that was that was it. My dad's okay. That's good to hear. I was, you know, I was wondering. I figured everything was better, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't want to pry, especially like when you were there. Well, and, yeah, you probably don't follow like my niece and my sisters, and you you might follow my brother I, on social wanted, media. I know I. I got most of your family. I don't know I have Rachel on there. Yeah. Well, I just know that I don't post about it, right, really, right. because they almost post too much about it. Yeah. So, like, I don't need to put the information. Anybody that really cares probably knows them, too. I do, I do have an issue with that. Uh, not an issue, I wouldn't say, but, like, I, I would never post personal things on Facebook that, yeah. I, that really don't... One, people don't like to see... A lot of people don't like to see nothing but negative stuff on Facebook. Yeah. I, if it was up to me, we would just reset Facebook. Like, you cannot post dumb negative shit on it. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I'm not saying that's dumb, and, but it's, you know. No, no, no. Like, you know people what I'm to say. Overly, overly posting shit like that. Like, pictures of people in, like, really bad situations right. in their lives and shit like that. No, I totally get it. And that. all this gun control and... Uh, politics. Oh, politics. This should be... You should... There should be a certain Facebook, like a Facebook politics, if you want to talk about it. Yeah. Go to here. Because like there's going to be a lot of people that... Yeah. Like, filter. Like, filter out any political post from my right. friends or something. Or filter out any kind of... Like, filter out the Super Bowl. Because like a lot of people don't want to hear about nope. football and shit, nope. you know what I mean? I don't like, even want to hear about football, and I like football. Yeah. I don't care. I, don't I mean, just imagine all the things you miss throughout the day, even, let alone the week, that people post on Facebook that you might want to see because of all the other bullshit you don't want to see. And how much of the bullshit that, that we see is, is, I mean, I hate to quote Donald Trump, but fake news. No. It's all fucked up. I would up. say at least 50%, if not more. Oh, I, yeah. That's I would. That's probably like a low number. I would... Like most would of the think. time, when I bring up something I read on the internet, even if I thought it was interesting and I believe it, even afterwards, I'll be like, but fuck, I don't know. That couldn't even... That might not even be real. <laughs> Wasn't there. Yeah. Like, that, like, who fucking told me this? You know what I mean? But... So, no. I, I, anything I read on the internet, I take with a grain of salt until it's been confirmed, like... By a whole bunch of people. And even then, I'm still kind of like, that probably might not be the way it went right. down exactly. It's, uh, mm. I look at Facebook as like a modern day, any social media is like a modern day history book. Like, uh, how, how many history books did we read that that really wasn't the way it oh, happened? Yeah. It's just how they teach us it happened. History you know? is written they by the, us. the winners. And nowadays, history is written by fucking everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So, and you can't decipher what's the truth and what isn't. Right. So, not only that, but now you got like companies suppressing certain information because of their political views and whatnot. Mm. Like YouTube, dare I say it, as we're speaking on YouTube. What right did now. you do? What, uh, what did YouTube do? YouTube. Oh, they they they'll uh, like the whole guidelines have changed now because of uh, like politics and like advertising. Like like if I if we talked like. Now, our channel, because we don't have a uh, 1,000 subscribers and get 4,000 views or 4,000 hours of viewing or something like that a year, we don't, all of our stuff is now demonetized. We can't make any money on it, but they still put ads on it. But the reason 
Motherfucker. Like, that's not even the problem. The problem is, is they, before that even, and even now, if we did have all that and we were making money, they would still demonetize any videos that had any kind of offensive material or even talk. If people talk about things that is politically insensitive or incorrect or something, they fucking, they, they will, they will. Off? Not kick you off, but they will demonetize your video because oh. they don't want advertisers to not like what you're saying right. and not want to advertise anymore. And that, well, you are using their service, so they can. No, they're legally allowed to do yeah. that, but it's it's suppressing freedom of speech. Right. It's putting their political pushing their political agenda on us. Yeah. But well, what's way. stopping somebody else from making the next YouTube? Actually, I think there's a company now that just start like. I can't remember. It starts with a V, like Vivo or V. Vivo? Something. I, maybe not Vivo. Not Vivo. Vivo is the music one. Yeah, right? that's not. That's been around for a while, but this yeah. is a new thing people are starting to jump on and make like channels for and stuff. And it's supposed to I be think like. Cat might have done something. Like uh, YouTube was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Back to the swing of things, people. <laughs> it's been a while. Got a whole new way of doing things now. But yeah, I guess I, I used to just bring this over with me, remember, mm-hmm. just for that exact reason, so I'm yeah. on it. That's what I need you for, Jeff. That's what I'm good for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can you pull it in? Oh, no, it's was my mom. Ah. Uh, yeah, someone. but, yeah, like, what stops these, just like you said, they're, they're starting something this. What start, what's stopping the next Facebook? People are Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I, I guarantee, as soon as somebody starts, you know, building some steam or whatever, Facebook's gonna buy them out. Not only Money that, talks. but <laughs> even I mean, look at what how popular Snapchat was, and then I think the story was Facebook actually tried to buy Snapchat, and either they changed their mind or Snapchat wanted too much money or something. I don't know. Snapchat declined. Then Instagram bought it, right? Yeah, or no, what happened was is then Facebook bought Instagram and just basically turned Instagram into, into Instagram Snapchat. and Snapchat. Yep. yep. So now Snapchat's kind of going down because everybody's that was already on Instagram said, fuck Snapchat. Why well, I don't need it because I, ha- I have the same thing. Why well, have both, yeah. Right. So, yeah, I'm on Instagram. I was never really into Snap. Like, the only time I got Snapchat is when, like, my ex showed it to me, and I just—it was fun to fuck around on for a minute, but that yeah. kind of gets old after a while. I, I don't—I don't even really get. I get on Instagram for like the actual Instagram, like uh, I, I don't ever really look at people's stories or anything like that. But well, I've been on Instagram for a few years now. I'm new to it, and I remember when I first got on, most of the pictures on Instagram were legitimate good photography. Like people would take really cool pictures of wherever they were at, or like buildings in the city or like like cool scenery or it wasn't their scrambled eggs and bacon it wasn't scrambled eggs and bacon it wasn't just <laughs> random selfies like even what i do like i post pictures of like toys and stuff i buy on it you know what i mean like they were legitimately good pictures That's fine with me and i even tried to like go on with that and like take cool pictures and put filters on it make them look fancy and professional and shit but like after a while like you know the people that didn't do that sort of thing all got on there and right it all became every other social media yep. picture site annoying yeah oh, pictures of girls asses <laughs> fucking like joe rogan said there's seven million people looking at a girl's ass in florida like yeah it's kind of weird when you really think about it yeah like you know. that's some power <laughs> her ass has right. some power like he says like that's I, a different kind of that's a new kind of human. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> the I mean, some days, so most days, I wish half the time I didn't. I wish I didn't have a cell phone. Oh yeah. I actually lived in this. In the last five years, I lived like four months, five months without a cell phone. So most peaceful time of my life. Damn, man. I bet. <laughs> like I didn't have to, it was hard to get a hold of people. Like I had to get on Facebook Messenger on a laptop. Yeah. Or my, uh, I, I still had a phone, 
but it didn't wasn't hooked up to anything, so I had to get on Wi Fi. <laughs> and, and you know, if Josh or somebody wanted to get hold of me, it was through Facebook Messenger. Yeah, that's actually what I got to do now. Like, if somebody doesn't have an iPhone, I can't text them because my Straight Talk service ended yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, so, Straight Talk pisses me off, but I still use them. I'm thinking about doing T Mobile just because they're one of the last few that actually fucking do it the old school way. Where you can get a new phone and you pay for it yeah. month by month and shit. Now you got to buy your phone outright from like everywhere else. Which I was never down with getting a service plan. That's why I always, I've done Straight Talk for years now. Yeah. But, but it sucks. You got to buy your straight phone. Straight Talk is uh, for, what is it, 60 bucks or whatever? It's 50 uh, bucks, unlimited. Unlimited everything. First 10 gigabytes. Now, when I first started doing it, it was only 3 gigabytes. Then they put it up to five, but now it's 10. But the first 10 gigabytes of data are high speed. After that, it's just normal speed. I'm... And if you use your Wi-Fi, chances are you're not even going to use it. Everything was unlimited data. I just called them. Oh, it is unlimited days. data. But uh, the, but after the first 10 gigabytes, it's just normal speed data. It's not 4G. It's it's not whatever. the high speed okay. shit. Yeah, whatever whatever your highest speed data is on whatever phone you have, it's only that for the first 10 gigabytes. Because before, when I'd go over on Straight Talk, I'd get 2G or whatever it was. Yeah. And you can't load anything. But now, like, my last month, I didn't have oh, an issue at all. Now they pr- provide the 4G. Like, now, whatever your phone's capable of, they can do it. You just got to buy a SIM card. Because now you can bring whatever phone you want, mm-hmm. as long as it's not... Not activated, right? Yeah, like, as long as it's unlocked and can be on any service, you can do it on Straight Talk now. Yeah, that's what I have, Straight Talk. And I don't, I don't, oh, really? I don't, yeah, I don't hate it. No, their service is pretty good. Yeah. Like, they're cheap. I had Straight Talk when it first came out, and it was fucking terrible. No, it was not good. You st- back when you still had to do the flip phones or the little pop-up <laughs> phones and shit. I remember I had and the then Samsung. You had to talk to an Indian guy, and he didn't understand what you are saying. Yeah. You still kind of do that oh, now. Yeah, not all the time. Some of them are American. I haven't one of those guys in a long time. But I, I you remember the, the Samsung, before the Galaxies were around, the Juke? Yep, I had that motherfucker. It was like this big, this big. Yep, and and it literally flipped around like this, and it was just an MP3 player basically that you could talk on, yeah, talk I, on a phone. I think Evan Wiley had it as well. I got it. It was like free when I got on Verizon for the first time, and then after that, I was like, "Fuck Verizon." <laughs> they just start charging for dumb shit. Even the fucking. Can you hear me now? Guy said, "Fuck Verizon." <laughs> yep, and they paid him millions of dollars. Yeah. So what does that say? But uh. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty much all I got to say about that, I guess. Here's what I'm most excited about right here. Now, let's get this one out of the (laughs) way. Let's get it out of the way. If you saw the last episode, for like a good 15, 20 minutes, Jeff talked about how I needed to watch The Punisher, the, the Netflix show, and then praised it as if it was the second coming of Punisher. I was going to say Christ, but Punisher seemed more... <laughs> more appropriate. Yeah. Still didn't work. <laughs> no. But, it, yeah, you get the point. But I watched it. And you're right. That second to last episode? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. Holy fucking shit. It's my favorite fucking, like, gory shit ever. I loved it. And then the last episode... Just under that level of holy fucking Very, shit. Just, and it's almost more... Like cringeworthy, like when you he actually turn it up and listen to the the effects of it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. If you don't know the Punisher is uh, a fucking, you know, what do you say, vigilante or yeah, or? he's a he's a vigilante. He's an antihero. Antihero because he's not really a good guy, but he he's not a bad guy either. No, he's a likable bad guy. Yeah, think, he's so. a bad guy with morals. Yeah, not nec- not even that. He's not even really a bad guy. He just has his way of doing things, and it's not necessarily the best way of doing things. He is a highly trained soldier that has a fucking chip on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, and for good reason. A yeah, very good reason. I don't know a whole lot of people that wouldn't be that way if their family got murdered. Well, I remember in the movie with John Travolta and Thomas Jane, the first one, his entire fucking family got murdered. Not just his wife and his kid. Like, his his dad, his mom, everybody. Like, it was a family reunion or something. Mm-hmm. And they killed it, all those something? motherfuckers. Something it, like yeah. that. There was a big family get-together for some reason. On, like, they the they beach. gunned down every... Yep, they killed all lived, them motherfuckers. And he was, like, off doing something in the distance and found them and shit like that. Yeah. 
John Travolta, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. He fucking Saturday night fevered, fevered his ass right <laughs> onto that beach and gunned them down like a domestic terrorist. Ooh, there's another YouTube strike. Don't kick us off. Shit. We'll be good next time. Sorry. Um, But yeah, dude, it was great. Did you think... Uh, I always Billy picture. Russo. Billy mm. Russo was good, but who? What's the actual guy's name that plays the Punisher? John what? Who? The the guy the the actor that plays Punisher. John. Oh, John Barenthal. Barenthal. Shane. Oh, from yeah, Walking I always Dead. butcher his name. Um, I think he's the best Punisher. Oh, I he's but there's been what three Punishers aside from that like shitty '80s Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Actually, I never saw it, so I can't say I it's think shitty. Including Dolph, there was three. Well, because there was the two newer movies, and then Dolph, and then and then him. No, no, so him's now there's four. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's the fourth one, and I definitely think he's. I like Thomas Jane as the Punisher. Didn't see the second Punisher movie because it just looked like shit. I heard it was really bad. And, uh, but no, he's definitely the best version of the Punisher I've seen yet. Yeah, plays for it well. Sure. I think they're they they obviously they renewed it for a season because. Oh yeah, had to have done well. Yeah. I mean, if well. Jeff Hughes likes it, they're really yeah, doing it. Yeah, that's true. I, I'm kind of past all the the. Uh, I I still watch them. I still enjoy them, but the uh, there's just too many comic book movies. They almost they we all know they flood the market with them. See, I can't complain about. I can complain about all the comic book shows because TV shows are very time consuming, mm-hmm. and especially most of the comic book shows are like 24 episode seasons of things. Like the Flash right. is like 20 some episodes every goddamn yeah. season. But, uh, Too much. And they're half-hour episodes, though, right? The movie... No. They're 45 minutes? Yeah, they're 45-minute episodes. Yeah. They're full-length episodes. But, um... And then the crossovers are like an hour long sometimes. Shut the fuck up! Thank you. All right, um... But no, it's, uh... I can't really complain about superhero movies because there was, like, years and years and years of just either no superhero movies or... Fair, like most shitty of them being one. really shitty. Yeah. So most of them being just the fact that there's a Deadpool movie, there, just the fact that there's a second Deadpool movie coming out after a first one makes me happy that superhero, th- like we wouldn't have got to that point if they hadn't have oversaturated. Like right. once the oversaturation happens and people are kind of dying it down, they're going to be like, all right, we got to like really like Pump now we're going to actually start making comic book movies like real comic like we're not going to fuck them up sort of thing like we can make Deadpool now or we can like they're talking about making a Lobo movie which is going to be like DC's Deadpool if you know anything about Lobo No I don't I thought uh, I thought that was Deathstroke He's a biker from space <laughs> You know what I mean okay. a, but uh no no well, no, I see what you're saying. like but Deathstroke isn't anything like Deadpool I'm no, saying that like Lobo movie. Has like the attitude and gotcha. You know he's he's funny. It's comedic and mm. and he's vulgar. You know what I mean? But no, yeah. Death, Deadpool was a play on Deathstroke. Actually, if you think about it, DC, like if you go through and look at all the different similarities and characters and all the things Marvel stole from DC, DC was first in a lot of fucking things, which is amazing that Marvel's killing it so bad and DC is. They just, just do. They just make better movies. Like, yeah. the new Thor is my favorite comic book movie. It's fucking good. I don't consider... I You I have to do the, the Nolan trilogy, because that's just... To me, is untouchable. Mm-hmm. At this point, it's just untouchable. Yeah, you can't beat the Dark Knight. You really can't. No. But the... Out of all the other ones, I think the new Thor... Thor had me laughing, and, and <laughs> it was, like, good. It wasn't, like, over-the-top comedy from the very beginning too from the very beginning when he's in front of i can't even remember his name but that demon fucking guy guy the guy that causes ragnarok (laughs) yeah and he's just spinning around and fucking with him like (laughs) hold on from the very (laughs) moment it it turns out like like he's just he's not even really talking to you you're just hearing his dialogue over things as if he's telling you the story and it's like at it again sort of thing like it was comedy from start to finish and it was to me it was uh (laughs) It was just fun, and that's what I think comic book movies should be, is fun. And I, I'm glad they went back to, as much as I hated to see, spoiler alert, see fucking Odin die the way he did, see him go, because I liked Odin. 
Yeah. Uh, I love that they went back to the whole Loki thing and told you what Loki's been up to this whole time and how he's been I duping like everybody. <laughs> I, no, I like Loki too. He was he's he's always been a cool he's a cool character actually in Norse mythology as a god and stuff. He's a and prankster. Marvel made him fucking cool too. Yeah. Like he could be a lot darker. I that would be cool because he's supposed to be pretty fucking dark. He's yeah. like the evil child. You know what I mean? But uh. No, I like Loki a lot too. For sure. And that brings us into I don't know if you have ever got into it because I don't remember ever asking you, but I just recently and I I'm kicking myself in the ass for it. Just got into Vikings. Oh, dude, I love Vikings. Okay, thank God. I'm all caught up too. It, I can't fucking wait. I am not. I just finished season two. I I bought season one, two, and three. Oh shit, son! I just finished season. Uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Ragnar's just became the king. Oh shit! Yeah. So yeah. I just put in season three today, and I <laughs> watched about thirty seconds of it, and I got called up back upstairs. Finally, which, finally, another motherfucker I could talk to about Vikings because I tell everybody about that show. Everyone. I think if it was on HBO, it would be Game of Thrones. Well, I think because like. There's a lot of like masked nudity and violence and stuff on that show because it's on the History Channel. Mm-hmm. But I I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you buy it on like Blu-ray or DVD or DVD DVD it you get like an uncensored I version. Show, yeah, of it. they they show dogs. Because you you see nudity, yeah. you see a lot yeah, of the chicks on the show, you see yeah. them naked. Yep. And I'm like, "Fuck, dude, I'm watching this the wrong way." Yeah, I was I I would happened. kill. I would kill to see Legatha naked. Kill. You don't get to see Legatha naked yet. No, not yet. Oh, oh, so you, okay, you're watching it on the DVD and stuff, yeah. so you know. I bought, like I Let said, me I bought. know if you do. I will buy that shit. I'll buy it in per, 4K HD, and I don't even have 4K TV. <laughs> we'll find one. God, I love Lagatha. Uh, you know what's funny is I was just talking to uh, Zach about it, Zach Mears about it, because he got, he's the one that told me to get into Vikings. Nice. And uh, Good job, Zach. Or no, I was talking to Rachel's brother, Jacob. Because he's also into Vikings. Those are the only two guys that are into Vikings, besides you now, that I know. Oh, I've been watching it since day one, dude. Yeah. Since it started. It's awesome. But he was just like, I told, I said, yeah, the first season, Lagatha wasn't that good looking. And his other wife was. And then they just flip flop because his other wife looks like fucking Michael Jackson now. No, I disagree. Lagatha's been hot from the very beginning. I, I didn't and the so. moment... The moment he started doing what he was with with the princess girl, I was like, "Really, <laughs> Ragnar? What the fuck is wrong with you? I all all because good. all because you you lost your kid. You could try to make you know she can make a kid. She made you two of them. Yeah, yeah. like get the to fucking together, dude. dude Jesus, I, I love that show. My ex, my striking coach, he he's really into it. He says, he, I swear to God, because I yeah. oh, my bad. No, I'm saying that. Um." He says all the time, like, if he could go back, it would be, like, to the Viking era. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. For sure. Even the way they think about life and stuff is awesome. Like, dying in battle is the coolest thing you can do to them. That's what they want to do. And, yeah, <laughs> they're like, I'll drink with the gods in Valhalla. Even they say that shit in, like, Thor, the Thor movies and stuff. Well, like, it's pretty, the, um, pretty awesome. Like that, I can't remember what season it was. He was the first second one but the old guy was like take me please take me i all my friends and family have died oh, they're all drinking yeah. with the gods now and, and i've going been west. cursed because i have never the blade has never touched me in battle hmm. i'm like no, you're just probably pretty fucking good yeah <laughs> yeah but it makes he's think, lived this dude, long like, yeah he's fucking sweet i mean fuck it right if anything he's a distraction even if he doesn't do well and he He's just dies die. immediately, <laughs> that guy who killed him or the two guys that killed him are going to die because their backs were turned on him. Yeah. Or their, I guess, their backs were turned because they were facing, you know what I mean. Right. I got you. But, Dude, I love that show, though. It, it, My opinion, I'd put, Game of Thrones is my all-time favorite show, and I would put it up there with oh, yeah. number two, 1A or, or 1B. Well, when Vikings first came out, it was on Sundays, and it came on the hour before Game of Thrones did. So it was perfect, like perfect side-by-side side with awesome Game of Thrones. So like Sunday for night. someone like me who couldn't watch the things until the next day, you watched Vikings and you watched Game of Thrones, and they complemented each mm-hmm. other really fucking well. 
So that's a, now it's like not on on Sundays though. I don't think. I think it's like on a different day now because I I think they didn't want to compete with Game of Thrones. Well, it, yeah, but they fucking they do it with less of a budget on network TV and they fucking pull it off as yep. good as they do. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Chill. <laughs> God damn. Just because they hear us talking, they get all riled up. So yeah, man, that's uh. No, Vikings, fantastic. Lagatha, if you're watching, what's her name? Catherine Winnick. That's how much I like her. I know her real name. She's, I will admit, she's hot. She's what's up, Australian, girl? right? What's up? No, she's she's American. She's American? I've seen her at Comic-Con and stuff. She doesn't have an accent or nothing. Oh, she, I mean, she might be is, Canadian or something. Ragnar is Australian. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he sounds way different in real life. But yeah, Lagatha, hit me He's up. my favorite character, though. I mean, he's, he's an easy favorite character. Floki. I love Floki too. I love Floki, but I like Rolo, even though he gets fucked up all the time. Dude, he's a, he's a dick <laughs> just, half the time. Just wait till you see what happens with Rolo. You won't even believe it. All right, he's don't he's still around. He didn't die or nothing. I well, I saw a poster of I think I want to say season five, and he's on the poster. So yeah, it's actually a big thing. We're gonna see Rolo again. But like oh. you will not believe where what happens. It's so like I loved it too. It was, I didn't see it coming whatsoever. But I'm at, I just got to the part where uh the dude from uh Grounded for Life. Oh, uh King uh, not King Horik. Horik, I think. He just like that. turned on Ragnar and Ragnar was like and Floki turned on him. And oh. I kind of thought something like that was going to happen, but dude, they played they they fucking wrote that story great. No, like there there's even now like it's not as I still love the show, but like I feel like it kind of it's lacking a couple things now for obvious reasons. Once you see the show, but uh, I still enjoy the fuck out of it, and I'm still like really curious to see where it's all gonna end up. So yeah. I wonder if this is one of those shows that can just kind of keep going on forever because well, it's, it's gonna it did you yeah. know what I mean until the end of the Vikings. Yeah, because I mean, the Vikings once they started going west and conquering things, they started becoming kings. Like there were Viking kings of England and shit, mm-hmm. like Leif Erikson and uh Canute. You never remember Canute? I, I just love saying his name. Canute. Canute. But uh, he he was I don't know if it's the same Canute from the show cuz Canute died in like the first season mm-hmm. or whatever. But there was a legendary king of England that his name was Canute. So, because after Vikings came on, I watched like a couple documentaries and shit. Yeah, because they're they're the most to me. It's like the most interesting. Like a lot of people like Roman, Ro- Rome. Yeah, Roman. I mean, Roman's cool, but that is more interesting to me. Is For like, sure, Viking is Roman. Roman history is more of like, look at this great civilization. And how it how advanced they were for this time, and then you look at Vikings, and you're like, look at how fucking badass these like tribesmen and shit were, yeah, because they were just like ad- more advanced versions of like tribal living and shit. They all lived in like huts and stuff and little towns. Like it was just like the northern way of being tribes and shit. It's weird, <laughs> Scandinavia and Norway Scandin- and shit. Yeah, I want to I want to go to there. Oh uh, the yeah. Norway, swimming like the hot springs. Uh, I, even Iceland. Oh, I'd definitely go to Iceland. Yeah, even though it's like it's pretty much like Alaska. It in the summer it's always sunny. Yeah, and in the winter it's you get like three hours of daylight. Actually, I think it was the Vikings that like named like got the Greenland and Iceland. They did them backwards so that, to prevent fucking ra- raiders and new people coming. Like they wanted. To think that Iceland was covered in ice, so people would just not go there. But, like, Greenland is, like, super icy and snowy oh, yeah. all the fuck time, so. I remember Miss Eibel told me that in fourth grade. I learned I like, that. Wait a minute. I learned that from Mighty Ducks 2, because the the, <laughs> yeah, the Olympic hockey cream? team was against Iceland, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they were eating ice cream, and she explained that. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it makes sense. They are eating ice cream. Her yeah, Coach Mighty Bombay. Ducks 2. You know who was from Minnesota? Coach Bombay. He was. At all Minnesota. comes in a circle. A lot of people were in there. Like half the fucking like that whole team was, yeah. They're all well not because two. Oh no, no, no. They were they the were, Olympic team at that point. But yeah. the whole original Mighty Duck team was a, a team in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Indianapolis. You know it's fucked up too. He he got in trouble in that movie for drinking and driving and talking back to the cop and shit. And that was a fucking kids movie. Who did Gordon Who did? Bombay? Is that first, why he was in trouble? That's why he was sentenced to community service to uh, coach the team and shit. He didn't even want to do it. He's he got, an asshole. He got a DUI. Yeah. yeah, dude, the first Mighty Ducks is really underrated. And they like, curse as a kid, I like 
the second one more, but the older I get, I like the first The second one. one was definitely the best one, but I really enjoyed the third one when they were it in high school bad. and shit. Yeah. The guy who played fucking uh, Abraham, a- Abraham on, yep. on Walking He's Dead. Was, goons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking A, dude. Yeah. Fucking uh, Keenan Thompson was in the, in the second one time. and the third one. Yeah. Fucking A, dude. And I love that... that uh, I think her name is Marjorie Moriu or whatever. She was the redheaded chick in. Uh, she was on the. She was in the all three of them, but she was the redheaded chick that Lestat fell in love with in Queen of the Damned. She's also on like Wet Hot American Summer. Was Sonic. it? Was her name Connie or Julie the Cat? She was Connie. Julie the Cat was the, the goalie. was the goalie. Yeah. Con- she was the Connie other was the dark hair. She had dark hair back then. Yeah, but it was like a more of like a reddish yeah, like brown. Them. Yeah. But no, I, I still love her Dwayne, to this day. Dwayne saved her with the rope. Yeah, and she she always dated Guy, the other yeah. like curly haired blonde yep. guy. Yep. <laughs> Fucking Guy, I'll beat his ass and take her. I don't think Guy was in the second one. I think she no, was, she he, was in the. He was gone after the first one, but she was in all three. Just because like yeah. they needed girls on the team. Oh or something. yeah. But, you know, Julia the cat, whatever, was pretty fucking cool too. Yep. To the beast. So man, what else we got? That's ri- I mean, That's other it. than I said, a movie is I've seen recently, and whatever you've been up to in your upcoming fight is the only other things I had. That's so. good, man. Uh, Movies I've seen recently, like I said, everybody was telling me about this this scary movie on Netflix called Veronica, and it was all in Spanish. Spanish. I don't know if I could do it. I didn't like it. Okay. There was there was one part that was legitimately scary in like the first half of the movie, and then after that, I was just like, this is dumb. I said, like I've heard people say it's the scariest movie ever. It's not, not in my opinion. You're not a huge horror guy either, are you? Not even, but like lately, I've been watching a lot of them. Like I watched that movie, uh, "The Killing of a Sacred Deer," made by a guy who made another movie called "The Lobster," and very weird movies. Like this, "Killing of a Sacred Deer" had Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman in it, and it was about this weird. Colin Farrell was a surgeon, and he got drunk and accidentally killed this kid's father during surgery because he was drunk doing surgery. And this kid basically gets revenge on him, or tries to, and does this. And I didn't know this till afterwards, and the whole movie didn't make fucking sense, but I didn't know this till afterwards. But the killing of a sacred deer is based on a on a fucking Greek myth in which a, a man killed a sacred deer of another man's or something like that, so he got revenge on him by having him... Something. Something about having him kill his entire family or he's going to kill a member of his family for it or something. Like, eye for an eye type deal. And uh, the movie's so fucking weird and fucked up. I liked it, kind of, but, like, it was just so ridiculous in a lot of ways. Like, all the dialogue, everybody in the movie... Like, I can understand if one character's a little weird and he says things that no one would fucking like say. off the wall shit? But everyone in that movie talked like they were from another goddamn planet or like <laughs> all of them had no social skills whatsoever so they're all homeschooled and i'm just like and like they'll just bring up out of nowhere like one little girl starts talking to the kid whose dad died while her little brother's in the room and she'll just like start talking about how she just got her period and like the most awkward fucking way possible like it was just i don't know if it was terrible acting or if they were directed to be that way but like so watching the whole movie i'm just like it? I'm laughing out of just how preposterous what right. just happened is. You said Colin Farrell's in it, though? Yeah. yeah. I'm Colin not Farrell a Colin Farrell guy, Farrell. so I will, that's probably why I've never even heard of it. He's hit or miss for me. Like, he's in some good stuff. He's in some bad stuff. But Yeah, I saw that. And then Mute is a Netflix movie I saw recently. I don't know if you know about that. Mm. It just came out. It's got the guy who played Eric Northman on True Blood, the Viking vampire guy, and Paul Rudd. You know who Paul Rudd like is, Paul right? Paul Rudd. And a couple other people, Justin Thoreau. Basically, it's called Mute. It takes place in, like, a futuristic Berlin, Germany. Like, it looks like they're in fucking Blade Runner. And uh, I guess when he was younger, he was, like, Amish or Mennonite or something like that. And he got his fucking neck chopped open with a boat propeller. And you see that in the beginning of the movie. And that's why he's mute. His girlfriend gets kidnapped. Uh, okay. Or his girlfriend disappears and he's searching her for her the full fucking time. If you even understood what I just fucking said. That. <laughs> so he's searching for her the whole movie. And uh, you start to figure out what's going on and why she disappeared and shit. And like, 
Paul Rudd's really fucking good in it. There's Justin Theroux's really good in it, and there's a, quite a few twists that you're just like, oh shit, didn't see that coming. Like, was it, it a was good just, movie though? I liked it a lot. Yeah, I really I'm liked check it. Check it out then. Mute. I checked on out. Uh, I don't know what it was called. Uh, oh, now I fucking look like an asshole. Uh, it's a Netflix movie. The, okay. the there's a few of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the ritual. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it was terrible. Was it? Don't do it. It's Horror about movie? uh Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even scary though at all. Yeah. It was uh like four. I want to say four or five guys. Uh, get they go out. Their one best friend died. I think it was four guys because mm-hmm. the fifth, their best friend died. They go up to spread his ashes, I believe, in some mountains up in Sweden or, you know, some they're they're English guys. Okay. And uh, then all of a sudden, they just start seeing this giant monster out in the woods. And it looks like a fucking, like, you can't even tell what it is. It looks like a goddamn tree. Okay. And then they go to this house and they, they get, like, possessed by the whatever the, the spirit is in the house. And, it, dude, it, was, it made no fucking sense. It was terrible. Yeah. That's why I have a hard time jumping. Like, I'll read something on on the internet. It'll be like, oh, the ritual uh, is going to have a lot of cult fan, you know, fan favorite, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I better check it out. And I, I was like, they when talk does this it movie up. get good? Yeah. And it never did. And I was like, that's yeah. fucking an hour and a half or at two hours I can't get back. I mean, when you, when you hear like, oh, this has a cult following or this has like, this is going to be a cult hit in a few years or whatever. Like I think, well, that's like a 50, 50 chance that it's good. Cause I mean, the room is a fucking cult. Hit. Right. <laughs> like cult hits are bad movies. Most of the time, like, or to the mass majority of people, that's why they weren't a hit, but like they, they get the, some people got it or totally like it. Donnie Darko. Yeah. Some people hit, you either hate doesn't make that movie any goddamn sense or to her. love that movie. Yep. I love the movie. Me too. Me too. But I know and a I lot still of people don't go, fucking. What the fuck is this movie? I don't understand it completely, but I, I I feel like I have a better understanding of that movie than most fucking people. Right. Like uh, another one's like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, I love that. See, I don't movie. like it. Oh, I love I that movie. That movie to me is nothing but comedy. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. And I'm just like I just don't like it. Oh, that movie. I love that fucking movie. I forgot about that movie kind of. Big Lebowski is another hit or miss one. That's a that's a I'm I'm kind of in the middle with that one. Oh, that's dude, that is in my top 5 I favorite movies. I think I movies. had way too high expectations for it. I might even say that's my favorite movie. Really? Of all time. Like definitely up there. It's in the top 3 for sure, if not top 1. But yeah, th- those are the only two movies I thought about that I saw recently mm-hmm. were Veronica Mute and then I randomly thought of The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I saw a bunch of movies. Like now, one's coming to me. The Shape of Water, I really enjoyed. Is that also on Netflix? It's not. It, it actually just won Best Picture, I think, at the Oscars, which the Oscars don't fucking mean anything. They're usually something terrible, like Mamma Mia wins. But like Oscars now, the ratings are so bad. I read that the ratings are so fucking bad for the Oscars that it's really not even about the best movies anymore. It's about who whoever gives them the most money, essentially. Like studios and shit like that, yeah. The ratings are so bad. Yeah. You know why? Because they're... I think a lot of people is because... Politics. Politics. It was the political it's stuff. A, it's a, I, that's the only thing I can think of is there politics. There were people live streaming the Oscars and watching it, and they turned it into a drinking game just by every time they mentioned like race or like sexism or anything. And they were fucking smashed by the end. <laughs> like, anything. It was insane. That's like the... the God damn. God damn. That's like the, uh, you have to, you drink beer anymore? Ever? I, I do, but I tend, I tend to have to stop myself because I don't know if it's me getting older or my body's just like, no thanks carbs, but I get, if I drink too much beer, I get super hungover. Mm. Like I can drink, you know, Jack and Coke all fucking night and be fine. But like, beer tears me up anymore. Well, we're gonna have to when after this fight, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to do the. Josh will do it, and Jared will probably do it with us. But the Mortal Kombat drinking game. Oh shit! So, <laughs> funny story is we do me and a, them and a couple other guys did it. Uh, we watched the first movie. Every time there's bad acting, bad CGI, 
or <laughs> something. Okay, it's the movies. I thought you were gonna you yeah, were gonna say like the, the game. game. All right. The movie. So every time there's something bad or corny or something that happens, we take just a sip. Okay. All right. So uh-huh. first one we went through first movie, we probably went through four or five beers apiece. Okay. You know, we feeling good, feeling good. Then we're like, let's do annihilation. We were annihilated. I bet. Oh my god, that's dude. appropriate. We got so fucked up. We, I think we honestly went through like two cases of beer. We were so drunk because, and you were just taking movie, sips. Yeah, we were just taking drinks. We were so drunk by the end of these movies. I'm like, this, this is the greatest game of all time. It was so bad. I like it. No, that sounds perfect. Like, because <laughs> I, I remember liking the first Mortal Kombat movie. Second one, I think I saw it one time and just it oh, wasn't bad. the same. I was just like, "This is fucking terrible." Still what not happened? the worst video game movie of all time. Nah, what do you think's the worst video Mario game? Mario Brothers. Movie? Really? Yeah. Even See, though it, it holds dear in my heart, but because I I remember renting it when I was a kid, mm. and I was like, "This is gonna be awesome." And then you watch it, you're like, "What is going on?" Oh yeah, it was really nothing like Mario. Like Koopa was just Dennis Hopper. Dennis, oh, yeah. He's, he is kind of like Koopa in real life. Yeah, I know, but Koopa was a fucking giant lizard man. Yeah. Not a, like, and then the fucking Goombas were ginormous. They were bigger than Koopa. Yeah, the, the, the Goombas were were lizard people with small heads. Yeah, when they're yeah. supposed to be like little mushroom people. Well, they look like little chicken nuggets. Yeah, kind of. With legs. Yeah. Fucking uh, Double Dragon was pretty bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Double Dragon. And then I heard uh, the Hitman movie was god awful. Never saw that. Oh no, I did. Has I didn't a, like it. Justified guy on it. Yeah, I like yeah. him, uh, Timothy Oliphant. I like yeah. him and I, I like him in a lot of things. But like, uh, and I heard that show Justified was sweet when it was on. Yeah. But there's too many shows. I can't get into all of them. The thing I remember about Hitman is that the chick in the movie was super hot. And, like that's all I really remember. And him and his fucking bald head. Mm-hmm. And then there was Max Payne with Wahlberg. I don't think I saw that one, but I remember no, no, no. it. You got bad reviews. I guess I haven't seen too many video game movies. Oh, I try not to anymore. But yeah. that, Like, that's something. That needs to be the next superhero movie. They need to start making legitimately good video game movies. They, the Resident Evil story is phenomenal. And I remember liking the first few. A good, they could do such a good job. They could just recreate the video games. But they went... They kind of did in the first one. Not really, but they they still had, like, the basic idea. Mm-hmm. And then they fucking... It just went... The video games went this way, and they went this way. Yeah, they it made... fucking fuck. made no sense. How many original Evil movies are there to like date? Six. That's it? I thought there Maybe was more. Seven. I thought there was, like, eight or there some might shit. Be. I don't know. I lost track. I don't think I saw past, like, the third one. And I couldn't even tell you what happened in, like, the third one. That's just, like, the Fast and Furious movies. I, I have no idea what number they're on. It's like 19 or some shit. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin so, Diesel's. Mr. Tough Guy. Dick is so fucking old, and it's just like <laughs> stretched out and it's pushing down on the gas. He's still drinking Coronas and wearing his muscle shirts. Yeah, and they're all just mad at the rock. <laughs> Tyrese is crying in the corner. I fucking hate those movies. I, I remember I watched them religiously, and I actually liked the first probably four. I, I think I only saw the first three. I and put I, the fifth one in and was like, nope. I think Tokyo Drift that I was the one where I was like, what, it's not even the same people? Yeah, Fuck this. that was two. Tokyo Drift was, no, three. Three, yeah. yeah. And then four, when they, they all came back, was actually, oh, I like that movie. I thought it was okay. It's and just after not, that, man, they just got fucking awful. It's just not really my thing, cars and stuff. Like yeah. The first couple, I could be like, okay, this story's pretty good. I can get into it. Right. But after that, I was just like, no, thanks. I still like the first one. Yeah, well, I'm sure I sure I would. Like, I, I remember liking the first and second one. Yeah. But, yeah. Liking it, not liking like, it. Yeah, I wasn't obsessed with it, and I don't think there should be ten movies, but... No, nah, especially now that Paul Walker's dead, like... Right. You know how they, they finished that last one? With his brother and CGI. Yeah, they they did the, like, facial thing like they did with, like, Princess Leia and yeah. shit and Oh, Grandma. she died halfway through the movie? Well, they... For Rogue One... At the oh, end, they aged yeah, yeah, her down, yeah. and and at the end, and spoiler alert, and put her face on like her daughter's body or like a body double. I have yet to see the last half of Rogue One. Oh shit! My bad. Oh, that's fine. 
Uh, good. I liked Rogue One. A lot of people said it was really good, and I have yet to see the new one. Last Jedi. I saw it. I actually downloaded it the other day because you can it's you can get a good version of it now. And I haven't watched it the second time yet, but my judging by my first watch of it, I liked it. It wasn't a. It definitely wasn't Empire Strikes Back again. They all the complaints I had about the first one, like it was just kind of a. a yeah, and 2016 New Hope. It's pretty predictable, you know what I mean? And uh the second one, it's like they were like, "Okay, let's take some risks here." And they did. They took some risks and I like that they took risks. I don't agree with most of them. And they kind of just said, "Fuck everything we set up in Force Awakens." So, I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> I guess like honestly, when I left, this is a good thing. It's not going to sound like a good thing, but it is. Kind of. When I left seeing The Force Awakens, I was like, holy shit. That was pretty fucking good. I, I can't really wait to Force see Awakens. the next one. And I had an idea, like, this is probably who Ray's parents are, and I bet you fucking this and this. And then I see Last Jedi, and I'm just like, wow. And I'm leaving, I'm like, I feel like I just watched the last one. Like, I don't even... I have no fucking idea where episode nine is going to go. No idea. Now I have to watch. Is it yeah. out yet on DVD? It should be real close, especially if I can get, like, a fucking okay. Blu-ray rip. It might be on, on the, the PlayStation Internet. Network, then. I'll, I'll probably download it. If you can't find it, I can put it on, like, a, a disc or a hard drive or something for you. You can do more. that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I don't good. know how to do anything with computers. <laughs> yeah, I can do it somehow. If you have like a PlayStation or an Xbox or something, you can just pop it in there and PS4. watch it like that. Yeah. But yeah, I liked that. And uh, what do you? How, how do you feel about the upcoming Solo movie, Han Solo movie? Um, he's never been one of my favorite characters, so I'm kind of indifferent about. I him. love Han Solo. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people do, and. The thing I'm most excited about that movie is Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian. They couldn't have cast a better fucking <laughs> dude better, to be yeah. Lando Calrissian. And not only that, but that motherfucker Simba in the live-action Lion King movie. I did, I did see that. So he's killing it. Just won a Grammy. That dude is on fire. He's won Emmys for that. Have you watched Atlanta? No. Dude, it's so good. Is it really? Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I was it. just like, am I going to be... You know, I understand any of this. It's it's not what I'm you think not, it is. It's I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a hip hop guy. It's really it's a, it's it's more of like he's his cousin's manager and his cousin has some hits from the internet and he's basically just trying to get him out there. Like it's not what it's not Empire. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's more it's definitely more relatable for us than Empire is. Yeah. So. I didn't even try Empire, but I've heard I've heard it's it's like, just it's like I don't know it's like a <laughs> I don't know. It's just not for me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't really relate to it. A lot of the characters just aren't my kind of people, and I don't know. Like, not to say... I'm sure that sounds racist now that I think about it, but there's another YouTube strike. But uh, I don't know. You're going to get us kicked off YouTube, Mark. I've been the, the PC <laughs> one here. <laughs> you, you're right. Well, I mean, we're not going to get kicked off YouTube. They're just not going to let us make any money, but they're not letting us make any money anyway. I don't need so. your fucking money, YouTube. We'll get Actually, sponsors from people that agree with us. YouTube money. Actually, I would too. Give it to yeah. me. <laughs> Tell me what I need to do. I need the money. I will literally do anything. I will burn. No, I won't do that. No, <laughs> um, he just wants to watch the world burn. Yeah, man. I, I really ain't got nothing left for you. No, that's pretty much yeah, everything. We got to catch up with each other and for do another sure. one of these. We got to do, like now that things are starting to move around here we need to do it more like we always said and never did well it's i'm down for it cool and you got a lot going on so i'm sure you'll have plenty to tell us about in yeah, the future dude, would you uh, like to reiterate any of that information yeah uh april 27th minnesota 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 uh i go up there defend my belt against a uh, very tough Tough fighter. His name is Maurice Green. Maurice Green. Uh, it'll be the main event again on Axis TV. LFA 38? 38? Hughes versus Green? Probably. So, yeah. I mean, Look it up just in case you don't know. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, man, I'm really excited for this fight, and uh, hopefully this is the one that puts me in the UFC if I win. So. Hell yeah, it it should be, sir. Yeah, and you I, know. Upmost faith. Never doubt you, sir. One of my biggest supporters, man. Hell yeah, I, I am. Not in size, but in spirit. <laughs> Um, with that said, this has been episode number eight of Jam Up. I hope you've missed us as much as we've missed doing this for you. Absolutely. Um, just in case you forgot, it's been so long. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Matt Archer Media. You can just type that shit into the search, Matt Archer Media. Uh, Instagram and Twitter at Matt Archer Media. You got a Twitter. You want to throw that Uh, out there? Yeah. It's, uh, what is it? At Lights Out Hughes. Lights Out Hughes 265. There you go. I'm yeah. at Western Jesus. The the Western Jesus on Twitter. Yeah. Although I don't use it much, but I'm starting to get back into it. So Twitter's hard. No, it's to me it's just I let somebody else run it and just kinda like tell them. Oh That's really? Cool. I yeah. saw that you've been on there and I've been yeah. like I've been re posting. I kinda like yeah, that. I kinda have like the the, the the not so much the last day because he he really helps me out with it. His name is Jacob. Nice. Uh, Shout out to Jacob. Yeah, he uh, he he does the things that he knows I'm not gonna do. Like gotcha. I'm not gonna be like, hey, I like this and this and this. I'm just usually like, hey, what's up? Yeah, like <laughs> do something with this. <laughs> yeah, because because you know everybody's like, man, you got to get a f- Twitter following. You got to do this and no. to get sponsorships. And I'm like, any what? any like tips and stuff for like doing the podcast sort of thing. It's all done through social media. So they're like, dude, make. If there's a fucking social media site, make an account for it. Yep. Like even the new ones popping up because you never know it could be the next fucking. LF, big thing. LFA made me get a Twitter because I've had I've had two or three Twitters before this one, and I've got on. I'm gonna figure this out. About 20 minutes later, I said, "Fuck this! I don't know what I'm doing." Mm, no, that's about but, me uh, too. LFA is like, "What's your Twitter handle or whatever?" And I was like, "What? I don't have one." Yeah. Like, well, you need to make one. I was like, all right. Mm. Then I just asked Jacob to to help me run it. He really took the reins on it. I just kind of go like, he'll ask me like, "Hey, is it cool if I post this?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" Mo- I've never said no yet. Yeah, but I, I like to read it because it's linked to my phone too. So like, if somebody posts something or retweets it, like I like seeing that. So. For sure, for sure. I retweet. I'm pretty sure the only thing I ever retweet is shit you your guy tweets now that yeah, I know this. That's awesome. But, but that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. He just kind of he just he just does what uh, he knows. Like I I have a hard time doing, and that's. You know. Well, I mean, it makes sense to have it, especially in that that shit's pretty much made for celebrity and fame right. anymore. So, and your ho- profile is getting higher and higher. So, yeah. they said I'm the the number one prospect in the world at heavyweight. Fuck, <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah, he is right here. You saw him here, I'm ladies and gentlemen. I was uh, never thought anything like that would ever happen. I just like to fight, man. I don't, I don't know. Well, you've always been the number one prospect to me, sir. Oh. Ever since fucking first grade when I scared you with my silver teeth and my ripped up jeans. <laughs> Long hair. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> also, if you want a t-shirt, you can get Jam Up t-shirts or Matt Archer shirts. Which I still haven't got one. MattArcher.Threadless.com. They're there. They're fairly cheap, too. So get one of those if you want them. And thanks for watching. Until next time. See ya. Nice, dude. You got right back in the uh, We fucking do it, man.